Today's video is a walkthrough of the FPDS website to show you how to find your top government customers as well as potential teaming partners. Find out which government offices buy what you sell and what they're paying. We start on the fpds.gov homepage and in the search box, I'm going to type in a single search term and then we'll narrow it down from there. Today, I'm going to search for janitorial. Now, let me show you what we have here. The first thing I always do is come over to this sort order box and click on date sign to sort the results by most recent first. Here on the left in this top box, we have the top 10 departments that are issuing contracts. And we see that the Department of Defense issued the most contracts, but actually that's not so helpful. We really need to drill down to a lower level. In the second box here, we have the top 10 contracting agencies that are issuing contracts. And we see the Army has written the most contracts, but we're going to drill down even further because we want to find the individual contracting offices. And this box here is showing us the top 10 vendors receiving contracts. And here in the center, each one of these blots is an individual contract action. Now, a contract action means each time they did something to the contract. So if they added money to the contract five times, that would be five contract modifications. And each of those mods would have its own entry in the database. FPDS gives us lots of different ways to filter our results to narrow down to what we're looking for. When we click on Advanced Search and then Add, we can filter our results by all of these different fields you see here. So let's filter by things signed in the past year. I'm clicking Date Signed and entering the date September 1st, 2020 to today. Now note the dates must be entered in exactly this format or the filter won't work. The safest bet is to click on the calendar and use that to select your date. That'll put the date in the correct format. Next, you can narrow it down by state to find just those contracts that are being performed in your state. I'm going to narrow it down to contracts performed in California. I click Advanced Search, Add, Place of Performance, State, Name. And this is very important. The state has to be entered in all caps and completely spelled out. If you enter CA for California, it won't work. And if you use lowercase, it won't work. Now, anything you see underlined is a term you can filter by. So I can click on Forest Service and it filters and shows me the contracts issued by the Forest Service. And in this box on the left of the top vendors. So these are people you might want to contact for subcontracting jobs or as potential teaming partners. Now let's click on View to see one of these records and see what information it provides. Here we see the contact information for the contracting official. Here's the period of performance of the contract, September 30th, 20 to December 31st, 21. The total contract value was $22,500. Here's the name of the office that issued the contract. Here's the name of the vendor who was awarded the contract and his contact information. We see that he's a sole proprietorship and he doesn't have any special certifications. This is the place of performance of the work. Here we see a description of the requirement. It's Rose Valley Campground Janitorial Services. Here we see it was competed under simplified acquisition procedures, and it was a total small business set aside, meaning any small business was eligible to bid on it, and they received three offers. I went back to my search results because I want to show you a box here that will be very useful to you. That's the search criteria box, and at any time you can click the X to delete a filter from the search string. So I'm deleting these filters and going back to janitorial contract actions signed in the past year. Now I want to show you how to use a pivot table to analyze the data even further. I'm going to click on the CSV button and save the data file to my computer. Now I've opened the file and I click on this triangle in the upper left hand corner. Then I hit insert pivot table. OK. Here on the right, we see the various fields we can add to our pivot table. This is where we select how we want to sort the data. Now, I'm going to select Contracting Agency, and now you see all the agencies that bought janitorial services in the past 12 months. 
Going back to the pivot table fields on the right, I'm going to add action obligation. Action obligation tells us the dollar amounts of the contracts. And here at the bottom, I can see the total amount of money spent in the last 12 months on janitorial, and that's over $2 billion. Now I'm going to go back into the pivot table fields and select legal business name. And now we see all the companies being awarded contracts and the dollar amounts they're getting. Okay, let's look at something else. Let's say I'm in Washington and I want to see contracts issued to companies in Washington, Idaho, and Oregon. So let's narrow it down to data for just those states. So in the list of fields, I'm going to turn off legal business name and I'm going to turn off contracting agency for right now. And I'm going to turn on entity state. I'm going to come over to column A and click this box for row labels. I'm going to turn off select all, and now I'm going to select Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. And I want to add contracting office name. And now you see the actual offices that are purchasing janitorial services and the amount of money each one spent in the past year. This is a great list to help you decide which offices to start targeting for contracts. For example, I see here that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in Walla Walla spent over $826,000 on janitorial. If I were located near Walla Walla, I would definitely get in contact with them. Hey friends, I hope you found this helpful. If there's specific information you want help finding, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.